Hello, I'd like to welcome, welcome back to Castlevania Symphony of the Night, where today we are going deep underground after acquiring the magic snorkel and the merman statue and beating up a dog. And shields don't stop magic attack. Shields are not as useful as I thought they were. Oh, that's... Why would you have a straight shot forward? Kind of the weirdest attack to have, considering I was not directly in front of you. Excuse me, ma'am. I'm just trying to make my way out of here. Pick up this shiitake mushroom. Let's go left first. Hey, good choice. Karma coin and combat knife. I wonder what the combat co what the karma coin does. Karma coin, coin with two effects. Let me look this up. Karma coin... Something. She usually does it. It's called a bomb. Or at least it's in the bombs category. Karma coin. Coin tries to head, soul strike, enemy, lightning strikes, coin. What a weird way to do it. How about we use it a couple of times? Actually, no, let's not do that. The less save states I have to use, the better. And the combat knife is an improvement over the jewel knuckles. Of any special moves. The combat knife is really a favorite of mine. It's nice and fast and snappy and it's got a high damage for what it's worth. I made it one of the better weapons in the game! Especially in, in like, uh, was it Sorrow? I think it was. Yeah, I'm gonna cut that out. I think in Sorrow I liked it most because in Sorrow you can get it pretty early and it's pretty strong for a long period of time. Though I don't know if cut weapons is really what I want down here. It's really the kind of place you'd expect to see skeletons. With all that spooky noise. Man, I have to edit a video for once. That's been a long time coming. The map does not extend to here. But I think left is... Yes, the save point. Bloodstone and the circlet. Bloodstone improves blooding. That's I think. What is it? That probably improves metamorphosis in some way. Dark metamorphosis, mind you. Let's see how it improves it. Improves like a blooding ability. Doubles blood healing recovery from dark metamorphosis. I've actually not. Oh, and for some other weapons. Okay. Hmm. Now I really want to check this out. Um, shedding blood. Yeah, I still don't quite know how it works because I've never really gotten it to work. I know it's a thing you can do, but I've never really gotten it to heal me in any significant way. Unlike Tetra Spirit, which is like you just you do it and you're done. Man, what a snappy tune we start off with. Oh, I forgot to check out the Cat Eye Circlet, which might be better. It's not better, but my int goes up, so who cares? What the fuck is this? I don't think skeletons can be where animals, but sure! What is this super snappy song? This is so out of place compared to everything else we've seen so far. I hate Gremlin so much. Now I think I'm gonna go right for- uh, well, let's go right first. Because if I remember, the boss of this area is on the other side, so... So it only adds up that we go to the other side first. Not useful, not useful. The rebound stone might be. Uh, I think I'm not going to go for it. Can 
might hurt it with the... I guess I should destroy the arc first next time. Because it's kind of interesting. There's a little guy run away. That's kind of cute. You might have noticed that if you see my other... Other places. Oh, I bet you have the boot the booty. The booty kicks their asses. Kicks their booties. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> I like how you saw twenty five and then oops and zero behind it. I mean you expect it to sort of centralize the numbers. Instead of literally appending it. Okay, yeah, we can't go here yet. I completely forgot. We need the spike armor for that. Oh, no, no, no. We need bat. An echo of bat before we can do that. And I think that's where you get the spike armor. You guys suck so much. Ah, oh, goddammit. My stupid, my stupid effective ally. Stop being an effective ally. This is level anyway. Ice level 3. How cute. Okay, uh, where are we coming up to? Oh, yeah, Grand Faloon, I think, is the guy down here. Let's just do, go up to Grand Faloon, he's not that hard a boss. Okay, we got a Monster Vile, a Blood Skeleton, a Monster Vile, a Monster Vile, a Blood Skeleton, a Blood a Monster Vile, a Blood Skeleton, and a Blood Skeleton. I wonder what the Monster Vile 3 is gonna do. How about we perform an experiment? There's a little... There's a little halo! Oh, what a cutie patootie! There's a little halo! Two for one. Oh man, that's... That's not creepy at all! You know what? I'll learn to live with it. I'll learn to live with the fact that I'm an idiot, because I'm never going to use that ever again. Oh, you're a magic kind of guy, are you? Well, not that I don't appreciate your hard work and labor, but, sir... I'm gonna need you to stand down, too. Stand... Oh, not these guys. I hate these guys. They're not fun. Because of that. But they also have another move, I think. That one, yep. So they are annoying! Luckily, they're pretty weak, and I've got Jewel Knuckles. Of course, the Discus Lord would eventually start showing up. But we are well and truly prepared for his attack. Oh god, I have to come back here for... Oh. Because there's some good shit up there. Think like at least one increase item. And, I th and the sword? I want to say there's a sword up there. But I don't know which one. How about we go down first? I don't want to go through this room any more than I have to. Oh great, it's an empty room. Not even a Metroid-style turnaround, it's just an empty room. Damn, these guys take the full brunt of the, the booty. armor. Let's see. Let me guess. It increases as time goes on. Yes, increases with map coverage. This is probably one of the better armors in the game if you're willing to put the time in, but it's already better. It's already 19. 
for my 16. So it's three points of defense increase. That's nice. Now we will fight Grand Floon, for whom I am unfortunate this is not the best weapon. Just kind of hoping I get a sub weapon before I'd have to fight the boss. Grand Floon! And his many homunculi. Who I cannot one shot. You know, Bobby, a better weapon, something with a little bit of reach. Balloon. I'm surprised we managed to make it through that one one pass relatively cleanly. And now we fight the actual Grand Balloon. Who is this son of a bitch? Who shoots giant laser beams? Because that's what a corpse pile would do, isn't it? He's a little, a little sketchy, though. And I hope that my familiar went up a lot. Ah, he's level 4. <sighs> Let me actually look him up, because I don't... Uh, I'm sure that if I try ping Grand Falloon, it's going to refer me straight to Legion! Yes, it does. Because he's known as Legion in other games. He was called uh, Grand Falloon is a reference to something else. It doesn't really matter. I think he drops anything. Uh, one of the fire oscillation stat. Okay. So not destroying all his parts is actually the preferred strategy to the situation. My cape is on fear. I love it when a sprite extends backwards to pick up an item. That's the sexiest pickup. Like, this is fucking mad. I did waste all my hearts using a weapon that I said wasn't that good that worked out pretty fine. Because Babooty has piercing power. I guess the rebound stone wouldn't be all that bad either. Oh, this is where we get the sword? Okay. I thought it would get the sword over there, but apparently this is where we get the Mormagill. Which, unfortunately, is another dark weapon. Which, as I said, is not that good. Now, let me look up any special weapons. The Mormagill. What a fucking weird name. No special weapons. I was hoping it did. Yeah, but this weapon has dark, which means that it's a lot weaker than it really needs to be. I mean, it's only one to a weapon you get for free. I guess the reach makes it really pleasant, though. I think I'll use it for a while just for novelty's sake. Anyway, I need to... Oh, wow. They put in these really nice platforms for no reason. Um, I think now's a good time to use the library card, because I need to find a teleport spot, because I want to go... Back to the Colosseum, and we can start. Uh, and can, we can go from there next time. That sounds like a great plan. Yeah, the reach really is what sells this weapon. Never forget, kids. There's more attributes to a weapon than its capability to hit things really hard. But since we're done here anyway, I'll just equip a library card. I said I'll equip a library card. Which doesn't just bring us to the library, man. It brings us right in front of the library, man. Isn't that just lovely? 
Which also reminds me of something else. Uh, I want to watch these, but I'll get in trouble. We'll do them all in, in, in their own episode. Uh, let's see, anything? Oh, I don't really care about that. Uh, let's sell some gems. Look at that, Onyx, 3,000. That is some uh, some high profits we made. I think I'm gonna buy two potions just just to be certain that I'm that I'm able to to pick myself out of a pickle. I'll buy a magic missile so I can use it. Um, and I think I think I'll buy two of those. Thank you. Would a Damask sword be a bad idea to purchase? No, 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 no. Damask sword might be bad. Hmm. I could get a magic scroll too. Contain. Oh, well, I guess I could. Oh, I could buy a ring of pearls. Ring of pearls, not a bad ring. Gives you one and everything. But I think I want the Damascus Sword a little more. Thank you. Anything else I could buy? I already have the Reverse Cloak. Iron Chorus is no better. Velvet Hat. Leather Hat. Mm. Could use the extra defense. Wouldn't be a bad purchase. Or I could buy a Bark and Knife and a Boomerang and just show off all those dumb things. The rest I'll put into potions for now. So that I have some healing items, should the time come. Now then, let's try out some items. P -p 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 First, the boomerang. What else did you expect? It's a fucking boomerang. It's a block a knife. Well, not it. I might as well use this one and see what happens. See how lucky I get. I like how it tells you it's heads. Oh, don't worry, Alucard. It's heads. Pinky promise. Pinky motherfucking promise. I think I'll go back to the Damascus sword. It's slightly stronger. And... Uh, I guess the range isn't that bad. I don't know. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. There's one actually thing that we can do here, which I know would extend the length of the video, but it's a really short thing, and it is like right outside here. We go up here and we go down, and we're done. And it lets me bitch about flea armors for a while. Okay, let me shift the map over a bit. Because I know this area I'll very well. I think we're going to pick up a... I like how I'm being moved by the enemies. So yeah, these are fleemen. They are a lot less tough when you have good armor. If you don't have good armor, they are pretty tough. They are, they are the bad beans that you try to avoid with your life. Once you get the armor off. Yeah, they always take one hit, extra hit because of the armor. Which makes them very interesting, because a lot of enemies are purely damage-based. Maybe you can never one-shot, because they turn into Fleeman. Into Gordon Fleeman! Although I think the Damascus Sword might not be seeing all that much use. Or at least the shield won't. Because we're picking up something that will replace our shield indefinitely for a very long period of time. Here's a stone mask, and here's a door that opens up. It's not a bad, uh, not a bad one. I really like that extra increase in int. Um, so this one I can replace with the Holy Rod. So magic is slightly more defense, but I, th um, I'll put away the. Well, okay, so this is the Holy Rod, but if you do this, you get a lot more range. It is does holy damage, and as holy as as you expect, a lot of things are weak against holy damage around here. It is an ass kicker. If you don't want to use it. It's also not cut, which means that if something as weak is strong to cut, I can just swap to this one and get good results. It also has a ridiculously long and very palpable hitbox, which makes it one of the, in my opinion, one of the finer weapons to use if you're not that good with hitting things. Oh, there's a boss fight here, by the way, who is also weak to the weapon you just picked up. So, this boss will actually try to spawn enemies when he flies around, but I got him before he could do that. Because this weapon is pretty strong, and I'm pretty strong. Another Onyx. Wait, that's like 3,000 Benjamins, isn't it? Aw, oh, damn, I'm going back to that guy. Can I buy something cool with 3,000? I don't think I can, so I went here for nothing. I can buy the Elven Cloak, which isn't better than my Crystal Cloak. I can buy a Metal. Fuck it. 
I have nothing in my auxiliary slots. I might as well put something there that's worthwhile. That's ah, a little bit of attack. It's a little bit of defense. Why not? Why not? I can afford it. So next time we will be continuing from here. And I'll see you guys then when we are going to the Colosseum and acquire another transformation. And after that we'll be immediately require acquiring another transformation. And after that we'll be acquiring an... Oh, it's just we're going to be busy a lot. Because we are about to get our first flying transformation, the mist. I think we get the mist from the Colosseum. We might also be getting it from the castle up north. I don't quite remember. What I do know is that we're not getting the gravity boots for a while. Also, my little familiar is like level 6. Yay! Oh no, he's 666. Truly a demon at my side. And a thorn in my head. Goodbye. <laughs>